we're back for our let's play of uh, Uru Complete Chronicles. Last time we uh, finished up uh, Gari San, well, as much as we could access, I believe. And now we choose a different book. Maybe Teladon. It said it said that place had the thing in it we were needed to access. Not there. Teladon was mushrooms, I think. Those mushrooms, maybe. What are these mushrooms? Those are more mushroomy looking mushrooms. Wait, is the sound on? What? Where's the sound? Hold on, I'll be right back. And we're back for our let's play of Uru Complete Chronicles. Last time we uh, finished up Gari Sen, or about as much of it as we could. And uh, now we're doing Teladon. Don't mind this fact that this is open. Hold on, let me just uh, close it again to make. Uh. Yeah, like a uh, bit of a recording hiccup, I'm sorry. Well. Might as well, uh, show it off, I guess. I haven't actually entered there. Just, uh, somehow I didn't notice that there was no sound. Recording the wrong sound thing. I didn't do nothing, like, uh, just opened up that thing. You've already seen me open up that thing. It shouldn't be much of an issue. Unless my OCD ass makes it an issue. Also, this is a very pretty room, but why? Here's something. Of course it's locked. It's snowing in a cave? Question mark? Well, here's a journey cloth. That's helpful. I, helpful. Yeah, helpful. Not helpful. L helpful. You know. Or the critter. Button. The button does nothing. Well, it seems to have a light in it, so presumably we turn the light on, it works. Presumably. Uh. Huh. These are some pretty big mushrooms. I think we were just in a pretty big mushroom. So those were, uh, spores? Probably spores. Good to know. Uh. That's a weird little jellyfish. That's a weird little bird. Yeah. Well, might as well pull a lever, see what happens. Ooh, it's timed. Uh, get in the bucket, I guess. I don't know. Get. Is something supposed to happen? Let the act whole system isn't powered. Presumably it's powered by these driver screw things. Which uh all of them lead to this contraption right here. So I probably should have walked there first, but narrative convenience, you know. Uh huh. Here's the thing. Stuck. Okay. What about, ooh. It's a button. 
a button off a key on it, which is a duddy number three on it. Uh, two more times, maybe? Yeah, that part right there is moving. Okay, then. That's something. And if I know what? Uh. Some sort of telescope. Hmm. Why are these panels around it, though? Am I looking for something? Wait. If this is a solar array. Jackpot! My I add, this is a very fast orbit for a planet. Well, spin, well, not orbit, uh, rotation, I guess. Oh, let's turn that on over here. Activate this knickknack over here. And there's uh, also a thing over here. Oh, yes, it's broke. Yeah, two out of three ain't bad. We can work with that. Also, it's over here. Toppled mushroom broke the bridge. Great. This is very, uh, something. Yeah. Also very noisy here all of a sudden now, isn't it? <laughs> well, this should be operational now. Come on. Keep missing it. Run, run, run. Did I just reset the lever, actually? I think I just reset it because there was no power. I did not know you could do that. Good to know. There we go. Whoop. Freeze the charm. I've seen more well, I've seen gondola rides with a bit more of an active view but this is definitely something oh a bunch of mushrooms here okay ow Good thing there's a floor grate there. That would have been nasty otherwise. Uh, contraptions, contraptions. Uh, journey cloth, that's nice. Don't think I'm missing one. Uh... Trying to rotate with right click, but nope, that's nothing. 
nice view of the power generator thing. Uh huh. Another weird bug, bird thing, whatever. Okay. And we have got uh, this thing. Control panel of some sort. What's this button do? Oh, it activates the lights here, actually. That's helpful, I guess. Uh. Here's a speaker for announcing your orders to the mooks at the ground level, I guess, but... Uh, don't actually know what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna put that off to the side. This is an elevator, though. That helps full. That's, yeah, that's uh, going up and or down. That's not a good noise. Wait. Didn't I see you in Gauri Sand? At a lock, of course. All right, take two. Going up. Hey, I called it. Well, I, I was just spitballing because uh, there was only the blue button at the bottom of uh, at the bottom of uh, at the bottom of this area. And well. There's a blue and a yellow. Blue. Well, if it was at the bottom, the only way to go would be up. So, uh, you know, just doing math and I... I don't know. Probably could have just poked around a bit. Face of some dunny guy who ran the place, I guess. That's a very old photograph. Do not touch. Yet more of a view of the joint. Nice. A bed made out of moss. Resourceful? Question mark. Either that or there's linens that need a work need a bit of work. Lovely view of the place. Uh, some uh, very undunny looking packaging material. I think a Ralto page. Yay. Uh. Okay. Don't know what that's about. But it's nice to have a little thing for the puff store. P puff. I don't know what those things are called, actually. They're like jellyfish, but they don't seem to stick to a direction. Okay. Model creature. Some, something. The bucket uh, may be, can be per repurposed as an elevator, I think that says. Which we did in fact do. Another critter. Shroomy, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing at this uh, scribble. I don't know. Business reply email for Fry Man Aquatics and Supply. Okay. Fry Man Safe Haven 3. Okay. For, but made by. bought by Douglas Sharper. Good to know. Question mark. Safe Haven series. Wait. Ooh. Warranty information card. Thank you for your purchase of the Fry Man Safe Haven 3. As a follow our aquarium, the Safe Haven models come with a one-year unlimited warranty. In order to take full advantage of your Fryman guarantee, please fill out the registration card you received to your equation. Accessing the safe. For Safe Haven 2 models, the lower portion of the tank is accessed via the safe button, which is located directly above the 
patented central feeding hole on the back side of the aquarium. For Safe Haven 3 and 4 models, the safe button is built into the light on and off switch. Simply press the light switch for longer than 3 seconds and the lower portion will open. The Safe Haven uh, 4 model owners also be required to enter a combination in order to enter the safe portion of the tank after the lower portion has been raised. The combination for the factory is the list 6 digit to your registration number. Of course, uh, the combination can be changed at any time by following the instructions on a separate insert entitled Changing Your Safe Combination. Safe Haven 3 is shown for purposes of illustration only. Your aquarium may differ depending on the model. Fryman Aquatics and Supply Liability Limited to Parts and Labor of Aquarium and Safe. Warranty for Contents of Safe, neither expressed nor implied. 1996 Fryman, yada yada, all rights reserved. Well, we don't have to worry about the code, because we just got the one with the cool button. So that's nice. Here's the maintainer helmet. Hmm. Well, this is something. Little thing we can do if our uh, key thing is. Uh, oh, uh, actually, we can't do it at a desk. So uh, let's just let's just uh, yeah. Okay, so clockwise, it's uh, dunny number two, six, three, five. One, seven, like, yeah. Two, six, three, five, one, seven, four, whatever. You know what? I don't even care. Ooh, that's the critter. I do not believe it. Well, I don't believe how poor quality your pen is. Another critter of some sort. Something at the lagoon. Ooh, these are big boys. Good to know. I'll be uh, a slight bit cautious. All right then. Well, you know we turned on the light, but I didn't really see the light turn on. Maybe, just maybe. Goodbye, Mr. Sun. Yep, that's noticeable. One, two, three. Ah! Also, I'm gonna turn this back on because I like the sunlight. Wait, that's not the bright panel. Hold on. You can walk with either arrow keys or mouse, as you saw in the intro, where I set things up. I don't know. Away we go. Hmm. Paintings of uh, stuff on Teladon, good to know. And uh, this is a book to right back where we were. Odd. Wait a tick. We're in Dunny. Dunny, I mean. Cool. Apparently that bridge is out and got replaced by a rope one. Conservation effort doesn't have to tech yet. Something's going on at that rooftop. I don't know what, but it is. Is there a Relto page here? Nope, I mean. Journey cloth, possibly. Uh, you know, we'll be back next time. <laughs>